Kashmir to Kanyakumari. India is a spellbinding mosaic of cultures, traditions, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Namaskar viewers, welcome back to another episode of My India. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and in today's episode, we're going to offer you a glimpse into India's cultures, diversity along with the developments happening in and around the world. In a country where weddings are not just events but grand spectacles, we explore the changing trends and dynamics that define the Indian wedding industry. From destination extravaganza, digital invitation and the economic impact, join us as we unravel the intricate tapestry of the big fat Indian wedding. Take a look. In India, weddings are a big deal and a source of pride for families. They are not just about the bride and the groom, but the entire family becomes part of this beautiful process that unites two souls. Marriages here are not just a contract to live together, but a solemn pledge to fight for and even die for one another. And to celebrate this timeless commitment in a grand and evocative manner, families organize big fat weddings, inviting thousands of people to grace the event. However, as we see weddings evolving with time, couples today are breaking away from the traditional wedding templates and experimenting with new ideas. They are opting out for customized wedding attires, unique venues and handcrafted decor. Apparently, the season sees a unique craze for destination and theme-based weddings that have become a new trend in the market. काफी टाइम से आप देख रहे हो पहले नॉर्मल वेडिंग होती थी अभी उसमें भी संगीत संध्या ये वो पांच पांच फंक्शन होने लगे अब डेस्टिनेशन वेडिंग होने लगे तो अब उसका भी ग्रोथ डे बाय डे लोगों का एक क्रेज जो है वो बढ़ता जा रहा है जिनके पास वेडिंग का है वो भी छह महीने पहले से प्लानिंग करने लगे या तो एक एक साल पहले भी लोग प्लानिंग करने लगे कि अगले साल हमारे वहां वेडिंग है तो हम क्या क्या करेंगे कौन सा वेन्यू बहुत सारी चीजों में अभी से प्री प्लान होने लगे तो मेरे हिसाब से आगे बढ़ के ये जो वेडिंग का है वो बढ़ने ही वाला है अभी एसी डोम आने लगे From choosing a small eye-catching jewelry piece to huge intricate designer bridal wear like lehenga and sherwani, Indians spend lakhs and crores of rupees in just one day. Over the time, the market has also witnessed an exciting shift in customer demand and preferences. Customers nowadays demand wedding attires that resembles the fusion of traditions and modernization for parties. Meanwhile, lighter embroideries and pastel colors remains the favorite over heavily worked embroideries as the bridal fashion is no longer restricted to bridal wear worn by bride and groom. The shopkeepers on the other hand offer a wide range of collections providing customers with a proper setup platform to try and rethink their choices. As for every wedding, there are nearly 100 potential target consumers. देखिए इस समय हमारे पास जो मेनली ब्राइड्स मेड के लिए नॉन ब्राइडल लहंगाज एंड गाउन्स डिफरेंट डिफरेंट गाउन्स एंड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट नॉन ब्राइडल हैं एंड जो कलर है आज की डेट में जो ब्राइट मेड्स मांगती हैं वो शैम्पेन कलर जिसे हम कहते हैं बेच कलर वो काफ़ी आजकल इन है ब्राइडल लहंगे के लिए हमारे पास जो है दरदोजी काम के अंदर आते हैं दरदोजी आजकल सबसे मतलब कॉस्टली वर्क है हमारी जो वराइटी है और जो डिज़ाइनिंग है वो डिफरेंट है The Indian wedding industry is thriving and flourishing at this moment with the expected registration of around 35 lakh weddings and a business of around 4.25 lakh crore as per a survey conducted by the Confederation of All India Traders. Furthermore, with growing digital transformation, customers are preferring digital invitation cards over traditional ones. Arpita Mukherjee, a research professional, speaks about how the wedding industry in India is growing to lead the unorganized sector of India. 
स्मॉल एंड मीडियम बिजनेसेस हैव डेफिनेटली ग्रोन अराउंड दिस वेडिंग सेक्टर मेनी स्मॉल इवेंट प्लानर्स गिफ्टिंग कंपनीज एंड यू नो मेनी स्मॉल डिजाइनर्स हैव ग्रोन टू अ वेरी बिग एक्सटेंड थ्रू दिस वेडिंग इंडस्ट्री एंड वी फाउंड दैट इंडियन ब्रांड द बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम इज द काउंटर फिट मार्केट लाइक द काउंटर फिट मार्केट इन इंडिया इज सो गुड इट टेक अवे द प्रॉफिट ऑफ द ब्रांड्स बिकॉज यू नो वाइल यू विल बी थिंकिंग दैट दे हैव वोर अ ब्रांडेड प्रोडक्ट दैट मे नॉट बी द रियल ब्रांड इंडियंस डोंट स्पेंड on jewelries during the wedding season if you talk to the jewelers you will see there is a purchase all year round around 50% about 50% of the gold purchases in india is for the wedding and india is one of the largest gold purchaser in the world from captivating attires to matching sophisticated footwear small integrate jewelry pieces to handcrafted bags and embellishing items from a wide range of jaw dropping delicacies to lavishing venues the indian wedding industry is expanding its horizon to contribute its large share to the indian economy in this spirit recently while addressing a global investor summit in uttarakhand prime minister narendra modi also pitched for the wed in india movement and urged the rich class to hold weddings in india instead of going abroad कम से कम आने वाले पांच साल में आपके परिवार की एक डेस्टिनेशन शादी उत्तराखंड में करिए अगर एक साल में पांच हजार भी शादियां यहां होने लग जाए ना नया इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर खड़ा हो जाएगा दुनिया के लिए ये बहुत बड़ा वेडिंग डेस्टिनेशन बन जाएगा These trends suggest that it is no more just about the bride or groom or the families but the extended entourage which plays a key role in making the real and real weddings look similar and subsequently this wedding affair is a key driver for the shining indian economy Moving on Let's take you to the cultural city of Shimla which recently celebrated a two day cultural event Sahitya Utsav Jashne Adab Cultural Karwa Virasat 2023 The event held by Cultural Karwa in association with the Ministry of Culture and Tourism was an initiative to connect youth with their cultural roots Let's have a look The city of Shimla in Himachal Pradesh is a perfect blend of modern thoughts and traditional values. Shimla, also called Simla, has always remained untouched by the growing globalization and has preserved its rich culture and tradition for centuries. In a bid to promote India's rich heritage and to connect youth with their cultural roots, recently a two-day Sahitya Utsav Jashne Adab event was organized by Cultural Karwa in association with the Ministry of Culture and Tourism in the Hill Resort of Shimla. The Cultural Karwa is a 13-year-old organization that embodies a huge number of artists from different artistic fields such as theater, music, poetry and art. साहित्य उत्सव जश्न अदब कल्चरल कार्रवाए विरासत 2023 एम्बॉडीज द एसेंस ऑफ द कंट्रीज हेरिटेज व्हिच लिव्स ऑन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ हिंदुस्तानी आर्ट कल्चर एंड लिटरेचर पीपल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट कॉर्नर्स ऑफ द सिटी गैदर्ड इन लार्ज नंबर्स टू विटनेस दिस यूनिक डिस्प्ले ऑफ आर्टिस्टिक एक्सट्रावेगेंसा जी अगर आप देखें इसमें कल्चरल कारवा वैसे तो थर्टीन ईयर ओल्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है जश्न अदब साहित्य उत्सव हमारी मुहिम है कि अपने यूथ को अपनी बुनियाद को अपनी जो यूथ है वो अपनी बुनियाद से जुड़े अपने रूट से जुड़े और इसके लिए आपको एफर्ट्स तो लेने होंगे तो कल्चरल कारवा हमने एक तीन चार साल पहले जब हम दस साल दस साल जश्न हुआ हमारा तो हमने कोशिश की कि एक कारवा लेके चलते हैं अभी तक हमने दिल्ली में किया दिल्ली में बहुत सारे लोग आए दुनिया भर के आयोजन होते रहते हैं दिल्ली में लेकिन उससे हम क्या करते हैं कि लोगों को अपनी तरफ अट्रैक्ट करने की कोशिश करते हैं कामयाब होते भी हैं लेकिन सिर्फ एक शहर तक तो कोशिश हमने ये की कि इस कंट्री के जितने भी स्टेट्स हैं और बाहर भी वहाँ तक हम पहुँचें और इसको जो है एक 
व्यापक स्तर पर जो है लोगों से जोड़े हैं Cultural Karva is a movement in itself in a time like now when youths are mostly found engrossed in their mobile phones and lost in the virtual world. The event rendered a platform for youth to connect with and learn from many Padma Shri awardees from distinct fields from across India such as writers, comedians, singers and actors who graced the event. The two-day literature and cultural festival was followed by panel discussions, kavali, cinema, poetry, and a brilliant performance of folk and Sufi singing in the beautiful and powerful voice of the music enthusiast group from Rajasthan. दिक्कत क्या है इस चैनल ने टीवी चैनल ने लोगों को घर में कैद कर दिया. और भाईचारा पहले गांव में मेले लगते थे लोग इकट्ठे होते थे तो भाईचारा बढ़ता था अब हम एक कमरे में कैद होकर रह गए नाटकों से इन सब चीज़ों से कवि सम्मेलन से मिसाइलों से लोग घर से बाहर निकले तब जाकर के भाईचारा बढ़ता है Today the cultural carva has covered more than 10 states and is endeavoring to bring it to other Indian states Culture enthusiasts opine that events like these should be held regularly as art and literature have the power to heal people and will help to deal with today's stressful lifestyle. And now some of the stories that made news recently. Surya stamp is being installed at Dharmapad in Ayodhya ahead of Ram Lala's consecration ceremony. Religious fervor has gripped Ayodhya ahead of the consecration ceremony of Ram Lala scheduled for January next year. Efforts are being made to decorate Ayodhya as a city of Treta Yug. 9 meter high Surya stamps are being installed at Dharmapad in Holy City. The stumps or pillars being installed to enhance the beauty of Dharmapath are a symbol of the sun. In the days to come, the Dharmapath will be the main route to reach Ram Mandir. For the same purpose, this route is being specially decorated and maintained. The two-kilometer-long Dharmapath will be adorned with 40 such Surya stumps. Hundreds of anime, comic and cosplay lovers thronged the Indian Comic Con festival in New Delhi on December 9, describing it as an escape route from their routine life. The 3-day event kicked off on December 8 at New Delhi's NSIC exhibition grounds. Dubbed India's greatest pop culture experience, the event is popular among youths who annually engage with this fun-filled extravaganza. Jammu and Kashmir Cultural Academy in collaboration with Wadi's Hindi Shiksha Samiti organized a cultural cum literary program in the Hindi language in Kashmir Valley. The program was aimed at fostering the promotion of the Hindi language in the picturesque valley of Kashmir. The event showcased a vibrant blend of cultural expressions and literary endeavors creating a platform that resonated with the rich heritage of the region. Through a carefully curated program attendees were treated to a diverse array of performances with a special highlight on Hindi play presentations. This initiative not only celebrated the linguistic diversity of the valley but also underscored the importance of linguistic inclusivity. The seamless integration of traditional and contemporary artistic expressions served as a testament to the unity in diversity that cultural programs of this nature can inspire. Who says religion and science cannot work together? Well, today in our show we are going to prove this notion wrong. exemplifying a hospital based in uttar pradesh that is encouraging patients to read holy scriptures along with their regular treatments let's take a look religion and science are closely interconnected to each other the evidence of which can be traced back to the histories of religions in the scriptures 
Religions in India are a core of its culturally rich value system which gives hope for living whereas science makes living possible. In an unusual instance, Uttar Pradesh based Cardiology Institute in Kanpur city is growing to become a living example of the testimony that religion and science are complementary to each other. Doctors say reading holy scriptures like Gita shifts their focus from everyday activities and calms their blood pressure and heartbeat. हमारे भारतवर्ष में सदियों से परंपरा चली आ रही कि योग मेडिटेशन और धर्म ग्रंथों का पाठ कभी भी आपको हानि नहीं पहुंचा सकता ये हमेशा आपके जीवन का उत्थान ही करेगा देखिए कार्डियक पेशेंट्स में क्या होता है कि ब्लड प्रेशर और धड़कन इन दोनों का बहुत बड़ा योगदान होता है अगर आपका ब्लड प्रेशर कंट्रोल नहीं है और आपकी धड़कन नियमित नहीं है तो आपकी जो हार्ट की कंप्लेंट है वो कभी भी खत्म नहीं हो सकती या आपका हार्ट हमेशा अंडर स्ट्रेस रहेगा इस विधि से क्या हुआ जिसको साइकोपैथी भी बोलते हैं कि आपके मन में जब एक अनिश्चितता का माहौल खत्म हो जाता है तो डोपामीन वगैरह सर्ज होता है डोपामीन एक न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर होता है जो कि ब्रेन को स्टेबल करने काम आता है और हमारे शरीर में पॉजिटिव क्रियाओं का क्रियावन के लिए वो बहुत जरूरी होता है The hospital conducts the chanting of Gita and Ramayan once a day. Meanwhile, they provide Bible and Quran to patients from Christian and Muslim communities and ask them to do chanting as per their faith. हमारे चाहे मुसलमान भाई हो चाहे किसी भी धर्म चाहे ईसाई हो पंजाबी हो हम जो वो धर्म मानते हैं हम उनके धर्म का पूरा सम्मान करते हैं हम उनके धर्म को कहते हैं इसी धर्म को मान के आप जिससे आपको सुकून और तसल्ली मिले वही काम इससे मरीजों को बहुत बहुत फायदा हो रहा है खुद अपने मुंह से बता रहे हैं रिसर्च सजेस्ट दैट आवर मेंटल हेल्थ हैज अ सिग्निफिकेंट इंपैक्ट ऑन आवर फिजिकल हेल्थ एज माइंड एंड बॉडी आर कनेक्टेड दैट आल्सो इंप्लाइज द साइकोलॉजी ऑफ माइंड कैन क्योर डिजीज A research article from NCBI suggests the power of mind can also cure multifactorial diseases like diabetes, hypertension and fibromyalgia. Moreover, it can also help bring down blood cholesterol levels, increase high density lipoproteins levels and improve systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Aadmi ko sangharsh karna chahiye to hum log bhai karte hain. This is merely an example of how religion in India is a driving force to interconnect communities despite diverse beliefs. Moreover, the knowledge from holy scriptures is proving to be beneficial for mankind by helping patients to get relief. And now, some of the stories from the recent developments and happenings. from around the world in our section of world in focus Santa Claus his sleigh and reindeer are a part of one of the United States of America's most unique and festive holiday train rides the Chicago Transit Authority's or CTA's holiday themed fleet over 60000 festive lights adorn both the in and outside of the cars The entire train is wrapped with Christmas images, completely with candy cane striped handrails. The seats are a bright holiday red and green and even the train's advertisements are all Christmas related. As for jolly old Saint Nick, he rides alongside passengers in his sleigh an open air car in the middle of the train. The CTA holiday train is in its 32nd year of delivering holiday cheer throughout Chicago's neighborhoods with its decked out and dazzling Christmas decorations. CTA's holiday train will run through December 21. Dog lovers in Nigeria paraded their pets in traditional outfits at a canine festival in the commercial capital Lagos at the weekend as organizers sought to showcase the country's diverse culture and encourage pet ownership. The Lagos Dog Festival is an annual event that dog lovers look forward to with a growing number of attendees taking extra measures to get their dogs ready for the event. Pomeranians, cane corsos 
and huskies were some of the dogs on show parading their outfits. Some of the dogs that walked away with prizes included a Lhasa Apso that won the best dressed animal for its traditional Igbo attire and was crowned Wazobia King. Wazobia King is a term that means come in three major Nigerian languages, Yoruba, Hausa and Igbo. The festival is in its fifth year and has been attracting canine lovers in the mega city of Lagos. Tango enthusiasts took to the streets of Old Havana on December 10 to celebrate International Tango Day in the Cuban capital. Couples showed off their best steps and captivated the gazes of local passers-by. The word tango of African origin was used throughout Latin America around the turn of the 19th century to describe the social gatherings where slaves and free blacks would dance to the sound of drums, historians say. What is now known as Argentine tango, as a music with lyrics and partner dance, emerged later that century in the working class port areas between Argentina and Uruguay as a fusion of genres carried there by sailors and immigrants. Gulmarg in the Kashmir Valley has received a fresh snowfall bringing cheers to the tourists coming from different parts of the country and around the world. With the breathtaking landscapes, the beautiful tourist spot in the western Himalayas has become a magnet for travellers seeking a magical winter experience. Feeling fortunate, tourists are comparing the experience to being in heaven. Take a look. Capturing moments against the backdrop of white-clad mountains, the delighted tourists in Kashmir's Gulmarg are engaged in snow activities. Fresh snowfall has turned Gulmarg a world-famous tourist and skiing destination into a winter wonderland. Adorned in a blanket of snow, Gulmar creates an enchanting, captivating scene to witness. With the breathtaking landscapes, the beautiful tourist spot in the western Himalayas has become a magnet for travellers seeking a magical winter experience. For several tourists who witness snowfall for the first time, the scenic beauty of Gulmarg is leaving a lifelong impression on their hearts. Considering themselves lucky, tourists describe the experience as being in heaven. We have come from Nagpur Maharashtra and we have come here and there are many days of snowfall. This is also a happy thing that we have got to see all of this. मैं सभी चीज लोगों को कहूंगा कि एक बार तो भी गुलमर्ग विजिट कीजिए इसके समान जन्नत समान प्लेस नहीं हम लोग आए तब से बहुत मजा कर रहे हैं हमको बहुत मजा आ रहा है यहाँ पे टूरिस्ट फ्रॉम डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री एंड वर्ल्ड आर एंजॉइंग द मेस्मराइजिंग ब्यूटी ऑफ गुलमर्ग आफ्टर फ्रेश स्नोफॉल टूरिस्ट कुड नॉट स्टॉप देम from coming out of hotels to enjoy the captivating scene. I think it's very good to see here. I don't think it's so good to see here. And here it's very cold. It's very cold. It's very cold. And I want to play here. So this is my whole team here. And I'm going to go to Gulmarg here. And I'm going to go to Gulmarg here. And I'm going to go to Gulmarg. इंजॉय करने के लिए गुलमर्ग विच मीन्स मेडो ऑफ लार्स हैज न्यूमरस थिंग्स टू डू इन स्टोर फॉर टूरिस्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम एंजॉइंग दी स्नो कवर्ड लैंडस्केप्स एडवेंचर लवर्स कैन गो फॉर ट्रैकिंग स्कीइंग और स्केटिंग देयर आर एक्सपीरियंस ट्रेनर्स हु हेल्प टूरिस्ट एंजॉय दीज विंटर स्नो एक्टिविटीज Tourists feel hungry while enjoying and Gulmarg is always ready for that too.
carrying an essence of Kashmir, food points in Gulmarg serve amazing dishes, including dim sums and pasta. Gulmarg fills the bucket list of tourists with loads of snow, adventure and excitement. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback on myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and it's a goodbye from the entire production team.